we're beginning a series of videos on the liturgical revolution because several questions have come in on that and it's going to take a series of videos to cover all the points in this video I'd like to cover the basics there are four basic liturgies considered the first is the calendar and breviary revision of Pope St. Pius X uh, which is in most of your breviaries and missiles printed between uh, Pius X and 1955. The second one is the calendar revision of Pope Pius XII in 1955 and the revision of Holy Week in the same year. I, although the, <coughs> those are two separate things, I consider them uh, pretty much as the same time frame and therefore we'll consider them together. The third is the revision of the calendar of John the 23rd in 1960 with the decree Rubicarum Instructum. And finally, the fourth is the addition of St. Joseph to the canon of the Mass. So the question is, which one of these four should we use? Now, our decision must be consistent with our position in regard to the Pope. That's how we should look at how the traditionalists make their decision. So, the only consistent decision for those who regard John 23rd through Francis, or the small group that now considers John 23rd through Benedict 16th, considering Benedict 16th's resignation was forced, but that's another question. As popes, they may now, today, use the 1962 Missal with St. Joseph in the canon, which is also based upon the 1960 calendar. Anything else would be improper for them. It would be inconsistent with their position. Sede Vacantists are obliged to accept the 1955 revisions. They may not like them, but in obedience and consistency, because the traditionalists appeal to Epikaia to justify their operation. Epikaia is a question completely separate from this, but I want to touch on one point. Epikaia forbids the judgment of the law. Therefore, they must obey the last man they claim was Pope, Pope Pius XII, even if they question the 1955 changes. Unfortunately, most St. Epikaia judge the law and therefore show themselves inconsistent with their own position, and an inconsistent position is a wrong position. Okay? because we discussed consistency in other videos. So, because they are inconsistent, and they reject the 1955 revision of Holy Week and the calendar revision as well, and they also reject the institution at least of the Feast of St. Joseph the Workman, this attitude of disobedience is wrong and inconsistent. It is sinful. What should someone do then? The only person who can make a change is the Pope. When we assume a decision that is not ours, we usurp authority. In this case, Sede Vacantas usurp the authority of the Pope when they reject the 55 revision. In the next video, I will lay down the basic principles by which this matter can be judged, and as Pope, the actions I personally am taking based upon this. And so, with that, we are resuming a few videos. May God bless you.